are so in love with Jesus in the New Testament that we miss some of the clues given about his ministry in the Old Testament. Richard Rohr reflects on a passage from Isaiah and how perfectly it points to the ministry of Christ here on earth. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release the prisoners. In this reading from Isaiah, the prophet describes the work of the coming servant of Yahweh. It is precisely this quote that Jesus first uses to announce the exact nature of his own ministry. In each case, Jesus describes his work as reuniting things that have in any way lost their divine state or been marginalized or demeaned by society. Jesus' ministry is not to gather the so-called good into a private country club and punish the outsiders, but to reach out to those on the edge, on the bottom, out to those who are last, to tell them that they just might be first. That is almost the very job description of the Holy Spirit, and therefore, of Jesus. Some call it God's unique kind of justice, or restorative justice. God justifies things by restoring them to their true and full identity in himself, as opposed to retributive justice, which seeks only to reward and punishment. To receive unearned love is their only punishment. Today, let's ask ourselves, are we willing to forgive those who have sinned against us, who owe us, or are we seeking judgment against our neighbors?